Thank you to Mudwater for sponsoring this video. God, what I the know. heck? The fireplace? No. The fence? I can't believe this is our Airbnb. This is literally insane. I landed this morning on an overnight flight and I got probably like two hours on the, the flight. It was a seven hour flight, but for some reason I still feel alive. Like we're here. No, yeah, because look at like, look at everywhere you look is just like so beautiful. food because I'm fading guys I've been awake for way too long and I'm tired but I also want to make the most of my dates so I just took a little bit of a pit stop but you know what it's a pit stop in Paris so I can't complain too much my feetsies do hurt a lot though guys sorry to pause the vlog but I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about today's sponsor mud water okay so you guys know I've been a little bit of a coffee caffeine addict or enthusiast in the past and I always talk about how I'm trying to reduce my coffee intake I always put it on my habit trackers in my bullet journal I'm not gonna lie in the past I haven't been the best with keeping up with that but recently I've been slowly incorporating mud water into my morning routine and if you don't know what that is it's a coffee alternative with four adaptogenic mushrooms and Ayurvedic herbs. I know that's a lot of fancy words, but what I love about mud water is that it gives you energy. You can drink it all day without it affecting your sleep because it has a fraction of the amount of caffeine than a cup of coffee. And I personally found that it doesn't give me the coffee jitters or anxiety or the midday crash. It's really versatile. You can make it in different ways. You can turn it into a latte, just a tablespoon into hot water, add honey. My personal favorite way is with a little bit of oat milk and I actually use the frother that they gave me. It comes with the starter kit. It's USB rechargeable. And in the starter kit, you also get a 30 serving tin of mud water as well as a sample of the vegan coconut cream. The whole thing that personally resonates with me about mud water is that I've been so used to having my morning coffee. It's a part of my ritual and my morning routine. It's something that really soothes my soul in the morning, but obviously caffeine is not the greatest for you. So mud water has been a great way for me to still have that morning ritual, have that time to myself, 
but with the lower cap. If you're curious about the ingredients in mud water, I was as well. It includes cacao, chai, lion's mane, which is a mushroom, chaga, and cordyceps. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right, but these ingredients offer a lot of benefits like improving your mood, your focus, enhancing physical performance, as well as boosting your immune system. It's 100% USDA certified organic. It's non-GMO, gluten-free, plant-based, kosher, whole 30. The tin is also recyclable. So if you guys want to try out Mudwater, you can get 15% off the starter kit by clicking the link in my description box below and using the code AmandaRach. My mother's brought me snacks. <laughs> Hope you didn't get lost. So cute. I was sketching a little bit, you know? Oh, wow. Ooh, fun. Hey, it's the perfect time for sketchy sketch. Yeah. First French baguette. Oh, from hi. Monopoly. Hey, from Monopoly. From Monopoly. <laughs> today considering I landed like late morning I did all of the main touristy things that I wanted to do so like I can go home I'm kidding but no we did the Eiffel Tower we did the Arc I got my croissant I, I, I got my coffee she was feeling a little spendy she's feeling a lot spendy okay Lowe's, Lowe's. <laughs> I went to Lowe's how I justified it is that it's my birthday soon, so I never, I never get myself a birthday gift. We've been speaking have, like, Finglish all day, which is just half English, half French. We learned very minimal elementary school French as Canadians, and honestly, some of it is coming in clutch. Like I feel like I'm remembering stuff that I forgot, like from the depths of my brain. I'm in Paris day one, complete. <laughs> the thinker. We go see that. We go see it. I know. I just spoke French to a waiter. I was fluent. I can't believe I woke up to this. I can't believe people wake up to this every day. Wow. Croissant tracker. I'm filming every time I eat a croissant. <laughs> I look like a little lad. Oh, me too. This one looks way better than yesterday's. Oh, we also got this. This bad boy looks flaky though. I think we should do a bite. If I lived here, I would gain so much weight solely in bread. I looked it up, apparently it's kind of like a brioche mm. situation. Mm. Oh. Cheers. Yum. Whoa. 
I didn't think the chocolate, like each individual thing is kind of like a ball. Melty, yeah. Mm -hmm. That's good. I didn't have science hopes for that. I thought it'd just be like chocolate chip <laughs> bread. <laughs> Mm -hmm. We're staying at a place from Plum Guide, which I've never used before. This one is really good and the host is cool. She's like a designer. But today we're planning on going to Versailles, which is like an hour train. And there's a palace there. Everyone who I've talked to recommended that I go. So I'm real excited. Uh, yeah, head first was a choice. <laughs> but then my head's gonna hang off. Why don't you go in from the other side, Jen? No, oh, like that go. Seems like such a bad no, one. Jen, Jen, go foot foot first from the other side. She don't bend that way. <laughs> Just oh, a public no. nuisance. Oh no! Now that I'm seeing you next to it, dude, you're gonna, you're not gonna be able to get out. <laughs> How's your chocolate pain? Six football. Love the sage green. Marie Antoinette would be using a sage doodle planner. Oh yeah, of course. Of course. Yeah. probably been in like 30 rooms that look like this but it's still it's still cool oh, it is getting to the point where you're like how many more hall of men just all the mans so just a casual art gallery inside the palace so these are the gardens les jardins it's so massive like this whole castle with the gardens like how many how many acres of land is that? Because then also back there, I don't know if you can see, there's just like a plain of grass as well. But apparently there's supposed to be like a um, water fountain display. Whoa. That's our wrap on. Oh. Normally, I wouldn't go for the cream sauce, but I've been having so much 
creams, milks, and cheeses here. But for some reason, my tummy doesn't hurt when I have them here. So it just makes you question what's in the, the milks back at home. Because normally, it would have been a situation. It's the GMOs. It's the GMOs. <laughs> to museums today. Initially it's supposed to be really rainy, but look at this. It's very bright. This is my feet. The line is so long. It's not giving, it's giving tourists. Okay, so we finally made it in. It was a really long line and it was really hot, but we're in the French sculpture area. I'm gonna try to do some sketches. So maybe in the Greek, the Greek area, I think. so far so they actually have salads and stuff so I'm excited for my first green green veggie <laughs> so happy. got my veggies oh my god this looks so good and then we got an acai bowl too wiped clean <laughs> and just the slowest eater the slowest eater 